I was introduced to music by my father, who is a South Indian percussionist who plays the instrument called Mridangam, which is the main drums that accompany South Indian classical music. And he was introduced to music by his mother, who was a violinist. I never met my grandmother because she died young, but she was supposed to have played beautiful violin. I didn't think of becoming a professional musician because I was playing, I was into sports and I was into studies. But finally I decided to be in music because I thought it was my calling. Kiravani, the South Indian classical raga. Kira means bird and Vani means the voice, the voice of a bird. It's such a mellifluous, beautiful raga and it is nothing but the harmonic minor in the West. Kiravani is not grammatically that strict, which most of the South Indian classical ragas are. They are very, very strict because if I deviate even from, a, from the note or the structure even in one single note, it will change the raga because we build our ragas on permutation and combination of notes. So there are pentatonic scales, um, there are crisscross ragas, and there are so many varieties of ragas, major scales, minor scales, and a very wide variety of them, including chromatic scales. So if I change a single note, then it will go into a different raga. South Indian classical music, which I belong to, which I was trained in. It is completely spiritual and esoteric, talking about philosophy, gods and goddesses, the unity of the universe, the unity of humankind, and lots of other very important philosophies that humans of the present day need. Performing in spiritual places, temples and cathedrals, gurudwaras and whatnot, it connects me very deeply to my spirituality as well. In India, we believe that our music is quite esoteric and spiritual in content because all of our compositions are in praise of the Almighty, the Creator, in His or Her various hues and forms. If you look at various religious sounds, the most important sound which we incorporate in all the mantras in Hindu's thought way of life is Om, A-U-M. It's a sound that the sages, the seers who were in deep spiritual ecstasy have listened to. These were the sounds from the cosmos. In Christianity, you have Amen, and in Islam, you got Amin, and similarly, in different other religions, so the sound is the same. That's the reason why I believe music is universal, although we try to compartmentalize it based on our culture, the region where we are from, the country, the language, etc. I think music is much, much beyond our human thought. It is the unifying factor in this universe. So I think ultimately Earth will find peace only through music.